In WordPress, strings are pieces of text that appear throughout your website, but are not part of specific content like posts or pages. Instead, they're part of the site structure and most often can be found in your site's header, sidebar, and footer. This includes things like menu labels, error messages, instructions on forms, and any other text that's part of WordPress itself and the theme or plugins you use. You can translate such strings from your WPML translation dashboard. Scroll to the section called Other Text, Strings, expand it, and make sure that the detection of untranslated strings is turned on. Next, visit your site's front end in a secondary language and look for all strings that appear untranslated. As you do this, WPML automatically detects all such untranslated strings and allows you to translate them. OK, now simply go back to the other text section in your translation dashboard. There, make sure that your main filter at the top is set to Not Completed. This means you are seeing only items that are not yet translated. And second, in the other text section, change the sources filter to display front end viewed strings. This way, you only get a list of untranslated strings that WPML detected while you were browsing the site in the secondary language. This means you can safely click to select all such strings and send them for translation. And that's it. Let's check the front end. Great, all strings are now translated.